Scarlet Macaw breeding program. Macaws used to be a native species in Costa Rica, but have since been pushed out by deforestation and capture for the pet trade. But the program here has slowly been breeding and reintroducing these birds back into the wild. Uh, so this is where they breed all the macaws to repopulate the local area. This is the breeding center. Here's a pair right here, and they're juvenile. Jeremy has invited me to perform a few health checks and help with the release of two macaws that they've been breeding for the past two years here at Wild Sun. All right, there's some work to be done here. Vernon. Hola, Jeremy. Hey, hola. Como estas? Vernon is the biologist heading up the breeding program and has bred and successfully released over 150 macaws. All right. Wow, look at these guys. The scarlet macaws used to fly over 85% of the land mass of Costa Rica. And they're now down to about 15% of the country, and the numbers are dwindling. A lot of these birds were confiscated from the illegal wildlife trade, and buying macaws as, as pets is one of the main reasons that they're going extinct in the wild. And so we're going to bring those macaws back to this area. These are all juveniles that we're getting ready to release on the Nicoya Peninsula. So we're going to be microchipping them and getting them ready for that. OK, let's get started. The plan is to catch a pair of juvenile macaws named Chip and Skittles and release them back into the wild. Both of these birds have been raised in captivity as part of the Scarlet Macaw breeding program. Ooh. These two might not be a breeding pair. Over the next few years, they'll be old enough to potentially catch the eye of another bird and have a family of their own. Everyone's excited. Before we can release them back into the wild comes the most challenging part. It's catching them. 